Lucien Levy Brule, Quid de Deo Seneca Censorit, Episode 1. This is the title page. Quid de Deo Seneca Censorit, Thesim, Proponebat Facultati Literarum Parisiensi, L. Levy Brule, Olim Scolae Normalis Alumnus. So, what Seneca thought about God? Quid is neuter, singular, and accusative. It's an interrogative pronoun. It's the object of censorit. De, the preposition, with deo, the masculine singular ablative object of that preposition, and Seneca, masculine singular nominative, subject of censorit. So that's the title. And this is a thesim, a thesis, tesim, feminine, singular, accusative, clearly a word borrowed from Greek, a thesis that L. Levi Bruel submitted propo nebat to the Parisian faculty, facultati parisiensi, feminine, singular, and dative, to the Parisian faculty of letters, that is, the University of Paris, the faculty of humanities, by L. Levi Bruel. So L. Levi Bruel is the nominative subject of propo nebat, with tesim, the accusative object, and facultati parisiensi, the dative indirect object. Furthermore, L. Levy Brule is listed as Olim, the sometime alumnus or graduate scolae normalis of the normal school. And finally, this was published at Paris in 1883. Proemium. Nemenem fugit cum plerraeque antiquordrum philosophorum sectae, et imprimis epicurea, fideliter verbis magistri, usque ad finem ad dictae manserent, Stoicordrum propa solam doctrinam, perpetua quadam, et lenta conversione esse mutatam, ita tamen ut numquam, facta sit sui ipsius dissimilis. We begin with the proemium, or introduction, and then nemenem fugit. Fugit here is the main verb in this paragraph, this sentence. It has escaped no one. We might say nobody is unaware. Nemenem is the object in the masculine singular and accusative. It has escaped no one that. It begins with cum, the verb of which is manserent. This is an alternative spelling of cum, and this one I'm taking as concessive because of the presence of tamen here in the main clause of this subordinated portion. It has escaped no one. Everyone realizes that although most of the sects, pleraeque sectae, these are feminine plural nominative subject, most of the sects or the schools, Of the ancient philosophers, antiquorum philosophorum, masculine plural genitive, most of the schools of the ancient philosophers, and especially the Epicurea, the Epicurean school. Epicurea, then, is an adjective modifying an implicit secta, feminine, singular, and nominative. And especially the Epicurean sect, fideliter, faithfully to the words, that is the instruction of their teacher, all the way up to the end, Ad dictae monseret, remained devoted. So ad dictae here is a participle from ad dico. It's feminine, plural, and nominative because it is referring to sectae. That although most of the schools of the ancient philosophers, and especially that of the Epicureans, remained faithfully devoted, ad dictae, to the words of their teacher, where beast is neuter, plural, and dative, patterning with this compound ad dico, to the words of their teacher all the way up to the end, usque ad finem, of the Stoics, stoicordrum, masculine, plural, and genitive, almost only their doctrine, so we might say almost prope, the doctrine only of the Stoics, perpetua quadam et lenta conversione, these are ablative, perpetua and lenta, as is quadam and conversione, They are all feminine, singular, ablative of instrument. Almost only the teaching of the Stoics, esse mutatam, has been changed. And it has been changed how? By a certain kind of constant, perpetua, and slow or gentle transformation. We get here esse, the verb of the indirect statement, oratio obliqua, which fugit introduces. The subject is doctrinam in the accusative, and the predicate is mutatam. Everybody knows, everyone notices, it has escaped no one's attention, that the teaching of the Stoics has been changed as a mutatam. How? Perpetua quadam et lenta conversione. Nevertheless, Tom, and it has been changed in such a way, ita, 
that never numquam facta sit has it become dissimilis unlike to its own self sui ipsius in other words the doctrine of the stoics has maintained a kind of internal consistency despite this transformation <laughs>